What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and I'm bringing you another amazing gold farm. And um, I'm actually very excited to show you guys this farm, because I know kind of was a big thing back in the day, but people are kind of like forgetting about it now and not really leaning towards this, and it's potentially a way that you can make like hundreds of thousands of gold, uh, basically just play in the market, and... Um, I'll show you what I mean by that and how you can go throughout all of this process and uh, how people have actually made themselves millions of gold doing it and it's kind of crazy when I learned about this and I kind of wish I knew about it before but now that I can still take advantage of this kind of thing is kind of crazy. So uh, today I'm just going to tell you what we're going to be farming for and where we're going to be farming for it. So today we're going to Pandaria and some of you may know about this, some of you may not. But we're gonna look up. We're gonna look for our giant dinosaur bones. And as you can see, uh, just for one of them on my server, it's uh, almost you know eight gold all round up. And uh, on other servers, you can see the prices are around this, and uh, it's not super crazy. Prices aren't super high, but this is actually more efficient than like farming other things since you can get so many of them. And uh, I've seen people pull you know almost ten thousand bones in an hour, and this is how much one hundred are going for so y you can do the math on that and you will you come out with a pretty big number um, so basically the reason these are in such high demand is because these are actually a currency in Pandaria where you can trade these into a vendor and you can actually get a mount and what people do with that mount is after they get the mount they'll sell the mount for something like 250,000 300,000 gold even though it only costs them, you know, if they bought the bones off the auction house, you know, maybe five, fifty thousand gold or something like that. But either way, if you sell the bones or get them out and try to sell them out off onto somebody, you're coming out uh, profit on top. In my opinion, it's more worth it just to sell the bones that I'm going to teach you how to farm than the mount because so many people have done the mount at this point that I think a decent amount of people have it. You can attempt it and you might actually get to sell it on your server and that's just a bonus. But uh, if it were me, I'd go the safe route and i just put the bones on the auction house since they sell off so quick. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video and we're going to go meet at the farming location. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about it and I'll see you there. Also, wait, 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 wait. Before I take you there, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and check the links in the description for all my camera gear and all that good stuff, and I'll see you at the farm. Bye. Alright everybody, we're back and we are now at the farming location, and uh, some of you people may be familiar with this, some might not be, but uh, yeah, we're basically just going to be killing dinosaurs all day, and I gotta hurry up and get this before someone else steals it, because this farming location is very competitive you will almost always have other people trying to steal what you are trying to farm and it can kind of be like the biggest pain in the butt ever so i'm just gonna go ahead and get these just for the sake of the video so i can go ahead and show you before i show you the location so if we look here there's basically these giant dinosaurs and when we loot these first of all they'll drop uh greens pretty frequently but also those dinosaur bones you just saw me pick up, those are the ones that we just saw listed on the auction house. And they drop a lot of them very quickly. And uh, the only competition you are going to have is with other players. So let me go ahead and show you exactly where it's located. We are in Pandaria, which uh, the easiest way to get there is the port from... Uh... Oh my gosh, why did I forget? I forget. Oh yeah, sorry, Dalaran. Uh, dude, I don't know why I forgot Dalaran, but whatever. So, basically, we're in the Isle of Giants in Pandaria. You cannot fly here unless you already know the flight path, and you have to have, like, you have to have flying to get here. So, basically, I'll tell you what I did. I ported to Vale of the Internal Blossoms, I flew to this village right here, and then I mounted up and flew to Isle of Giants, and you should be able to see it. If you're at this port, it's just this way, and you'll see it, and you want to get here. Now, when you get to this island, you are not able to fly at all, just so you know. Like, you, you, have, to be, you have to run. Um, and there will be other people there, most likely, because this farm is very well known, and a lot of people uh, use it. And mainly, like, not even for the mount, just for the uh, bones and stuff that come associated with that, because they can sell for so much, uh, depending on your server. So, the easiest way I found to run this farm, when you get here, you start here and loop your entire way around up through the island, and you're going to find dinosaurs the entire way there. 
Uh, they do have a spawn timer. It's not super long, but it's not super short either. So if there's a ton of competition, it will probably take you a while to build up a giant stockpile of these bones. As you can see, I've only killed a few so far, and I got 56 already. And uh, people will actually continue to farm this for hours upon hours, and uh, they'll pick up just tons of gold. So recommend having an instant cast, something that's ranged and is going to do some decent damage output pretty quickly and you'll be able to uh, go ahead and get this farm going uh, rather quickly. Like uh, me being a droid, uh, it's easier for me just to use Moonfire and then I can uh, switch in between my travel form. If you have been to this farm before, you can also use the Flight Master if you've uh, looked it up and you can just fly straight there. Uh, also worth noting is you are able to, as you can see there's competition right there, you are able to skin these. so. Uh, um, I mean that's completely up to you. You can make a little extra gold on the side if you want to take the time to skin them. I have found that it's not really worth it just to kind of sit here and skin them all day. Because in the time that it takes to skin whichever one you kill, another one spawned and you basically, you gotta be on it. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. Because if you miss one, you miss, you know, a decent amount of gold. Uh, you can get the ones out of the sky too. Also, it's a little bit uh, trickier, but it can be done. And uh, if there are other people here, I recommend you just inviting them to a group because you're going to get more done that way instead of competing for uh, basic, like, you know, resources. Because that's, that's basically all this farm is. You're just fighting against other people for who can get the most dinosaur bones. And uh, as you can see, if I, sh I show you around, like, uh, this whole island, there's just going to be people fighting, you know, over everywhere to just try and get uh, their dinosaur bones. And uh, that's the only things you want to kill on this farm. Just so you know, you only want to kill the dinosaurs. If you kill anything else, they're not going to drop bones. So that is uh, probably the most important aspect of this farm in that it's very competitive because a lot of people know about it. Um, as you can see, basically just everyone has killed like everything here just because of the. F this is the farm, you know, allows it. And, uh, yeah, so the route I showed you in the beginning is definitely the easiest one. I wouldn't waste your time with going, you know, around the whole place, maybe just around the uh, coast where I showed you, because as you can see, the spawn rates on them everywhere else are not super great, and if they are up, not a lot of people are, uh, are a lot of people are already there. So as you can see, I found this one, but I basically, you know, walked so far just to get to this one. As you can see, some are way stronger than others, as you can see here. Obviously, if you're not a bad player like me, then it won't be an issue. But, uh, yeah. They've also got, like, some pretty weird abilities and stuff like that. See, 54 bones off that. So, I'm going to go ahead and look, because I've only been here a few minutes. How much we got worth already? One second. Shift. So, we got 618 gold worth of that. Plus, let's see what we got out of here. Plus another, what, 10 gold? I'm just going to disenchant that. But yeah, that is the way to go. So if you have not looked at this farm, uh, I highly recommend you do it now. Because after I post this video, there is going to be an enormous number of people trying to uh, do this farm as well. And it's just going to get completely overrun. So I highly recommend an instant cast is the way to go. Um, anything else, it's probably going to be pretty hard for you. You need to uh, have uh, decent mobility. If you have decent mobility, you're going to be able to just pick these up uh, quicker and quicker. Also, Bear Tartar, highly recommend you do that. If you're skinning, Dark Moon Fire Water. And uh, I believe that is about all I have for you guys for this farm. And uh, as you can see, it's just easier just to go find you know your own little location uh, where you can just instant cast some things down real quick. Basically aggro everything as soon as possible, and uh, this farm will definitely be way easier for you. You can also just vendor the tusks that you saw I got, or um, hit the vendor for a uh, decent amount. Yeah, this is the leather I was talking about. See, it doesn't really sell for anything on my server, so I haven't been skinning, but if your server it sells for 10 gold a piece, I highly recommend you do that, because it's got a decent sell rate on it uh, still. And uh, that's it. I'm done talking to you guys as you're off. Um, if you liked the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check the link in the description to see all my recording stuff. So you can go ahead and start your own YouTube channel. And uh, if you have any questions about starting a YouTube channel or anything, go ahead and uh, 
post in the comments below because I'm always advocating for people to uh, create their own content. Uh, and you know, it only helps everyone out when we have more content creators putting out stuff. So, yeah. And uh, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I guess we're going to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.